G'day folks. Well, thanks to a lot of input from uh, YouTubers and just a lot of poking around with these old sets, uh, I found out this is pretty much the symptom of failed X come Z sustain board. Uh, these ones say X main, but uh, according to uh, the Tech Knight and a couple of others, they are technically also a Z main sustain board, which is discharge sustain. Um, this is out of that set there. Uh, they both exhibit similar symptoms, they both have shorts on them. Uh, this one's in better condition, I mean I've disconnected it uh, and even with a blown fuse in it, it does the same thing. Once that fuse goes, that's it. It's just open circuit, so that's basically all you get. You get a very washed out and dull picture. Um, that one there and its power supply wasn't doing anything, like I'd get a few green sparkles across the panel and that was it. So that power supply has been damaged by a spike um, and its board is also probably the, obviously the culprit for it. That one is just going to get parted out. It's full of dirt and corrosion and other crap. I'm guessing it was on top of that one when they were left outside for rubbish collection. Quite some time too given the amount of rust on the screws and things. So I'm just going to pillage what I can from it and the rest of it can just be uh, experimental stuff. Like I'll leave these little boards on here because they're crucial for grounding out to the back of the panel. I need these boards to stay on here if I'm going to uh, kill it with a microwave transformer. Um, yeah, they just it has to ground out through them so they can stay on there. They're only about 13 or 14 dollars each from uh, eBay, but these boards here that, they, they sell for about a hundred bucks and. I can get one of these for $48, which I probably will for this one when I've got a bit of money floating around. But otherwise, I could try and replace the MOSFETs on it, but who knows what else it's taken out. That's the thing. I mean, by the time I buy all the MOSFETs and things and fit it all up, I've gone beyond the price of a decent second-hand board. So, I'll do the board swapper thing and uh, try and fix it that way, because... Hey, everyone likes big screen TVs, even if they are standard definition. Um, works well with PCs as well, but yeah, it does have a DVI port on it, so I can't complain about that. And as you see, it's all just pixelated and very dark, very washed out, because there's no uh, discharge sustain on it. And the digital boards on it are pretty straightforward, so pull that out, chuck it aside, keep it with all the spare bits. Um, yeah, so I don't know what I'm doing with this one, the other one, junk. But yeah, it'd be nice to have another spare plasma floating around. The one in the living room, the Hitachi's on its way out. It's got a bit of screen burn and other problems, so I don't know. We'll have a look at that when it finally carks it, but I don't really mind. It was freebie. Uh, yeah, so that's what's up with that one, and let's move on to some more important projects other than junky televisions. <laughs> Cheapo televisions. These ones were sold by JB Hi-Fi under the name of Sonic, spelt uh, S-O-N-I-Q, I think. Yeah. They're a generic Samsung chassis, so they were probably used in a million different branded sets. <laughs> That's all there is to it. Most of the plasmas I see have a standard Samsung SDI panel unit in them different style boards and things, they always seem to change them, but they're generally always a Samsung. I know LG Philips do make some, I think. Um, NEC used to, I don't know. There aren't many PDP manufacturers, and I believe Samsung is definitely the biggest. So, yeah, there you go. Failed uh, sustain board. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more.